Can you imagine that some people believe God is a scam? One such person is Bradley, and he is a staunch atheist. For him, God is a scam. But he didn't always start that way. For him, his family were very strong Christians. They went to church, they read the Bible, they believed in God. Until one day, Bradley's father passed away. Of course, Bradley was very angry with God because how? In the following year, his mother passed away. At this point, Bradley is taken in by his uncle Ronnie. And finally, Bradley thinks he catches a break. Until two years later, Uncle Ronnie too has. Bradley says, I have prayed for each of my family members and they've all God is a scam. I do not believe in him anymore. He leaves God behind and carries on with his life. He eventually finds love, gets married, and has a bounce baby boy. At this point, Bradley feels like his life is finally set. All his things are in order. When two years down the line, they realize that Bradley's son is not walking and talking and acting the way every normal two-year-old boy is. So they take him to the hospital, take him to the doctors, and they're told that he has spinal tethering, which is a very very rare condition usually only found in adults this baby boy who's not even started his life has it unfortunately spinal tethering means that the muscles in his arms and legs are weakening and eventually he'll be completely confined to a wheelchair bradley says he will not allow he will find a solution for his son because this cannot be the life planned for it this innocent child so they arrange to go to the hospital and get tests done by the doctors on their way there Bradley's in the car and something is playing on the radio it's a preacher and he says something very interesting what you do to the least of these you do to me Bradley recognizes that as scripture he says you know what for the first time in 20 years he's going to pray he said God please help me help my son save him that's all that's all i ask if you really are real save my son he gets to the hospital and as he sits in the parking lot something in him tells him to speak to the homeless person give him money and ask the homeless person to pray for him bradley sees the homeless person and says nah you, i can't just have thoughts and feelings giving me instruction as he prepares to walk past the homeless person he's going and he hears somebody calling him sir sir the background he turns around and it is indeed that homeless person obviously bradley's like what could you possibly wants with me he says i don't want your trouble i just wanted to tell you you dropped your wallet that's all bradley is shocked and goes you know what if you could please pray for me homeless guy looks at him and says pray for you for what you are a rich man everything's going well in your life what do you need me prayers for he says my son is sick the homeless guy looks at him and goes is it a spinal issue obviously who is this person and what does he know bradley goes yeah the homeless man says you know what i'll pray for you so in that moment he prays for bradley and his son and then he tells him be on your way bradley says oh please take take something i mean you're homeless and impoverished let me give you something the homeless guy says no no i don't want your money but when you get home please look up matthew 25 verse 40 that's odd bradley says you know what let me carry on and see but he stops and turns around wanting to thank the homeless man and realizes he has vanished he's gone no trace of him obviously still confused and perplexed bradley goes to hospital wanting to talk to the doctors who are doing tests on his son he gets there and his son who's normally very tired exhausted crying in pain is perfectly fine he's walking up and down talking to people laughing excited and bradley looks at doctors and say oh what's going on what did you guys give him doctors honestly tell him look we did nothing we have no hand in this even if we gave him something to feel better it wouldn't be like this he's basically healed there's nothing wrong with him bradley's overjoyed his son has been healed his son has been saved he heads home as he gets home he remembers that the homeless guy who prayed for him told him to look for one thing open the bible and find matthew 25 verse 40 and when he does it says assuredly i say to you in as much as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren you did it to me and bradley reads it and realizes it's the exact same message that he heard that very morning from the pastor on the radio at that moment bradley decides you know what god is real and he has performed this miracle for me i have no other choice but to respect him and acknowledge him and follow his path from that day forward bradley becomes an advocate for the ministry so are you reading your bible and what are you praying to god for that's all we got for you guys catch us in another episode don't forget to read more at nanasempa.com and i'll see you next time